Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And so in this video, quick video update for those people who have Evolution X installed on their device, whether it be Google Pixel 8a, the 8, 8 Pro, um, the 7s. So it looks like that there's a system update for this custom ROM. And um, I'll show you guys the installation. I installed it on the Pixel 8a and I actually wanted to try a different way because there's two ways that you can install this on your smartphone if you are currently running Evolution X. If you're not running Evolution X and you're going to flash the custom ROM for the first time, there are actual prerequisite steps that you must take in order to do that. One being is you need to unlock your bootloader, which will wipe your device. So make sure you back up everything but you're going to wipe, you're going to um, unlock your bootloader and you're going to, well, the initial steps is, is to getting your PC set up. So you're going to have to download the Android Studios with the SDK, get the proper um, USB drives installed on your computer, as well as getting platform tools installed on your computer. You can Google search how to do that. And then from that point is where you begin the process of unlocking your bootloader so that that way you can use fastboot and flash all the necessary files on. Um, so yeah, just follow the first time installation guide and you'll be just fine. But if you already have Evolution X, then here it is. Uh, there's two ways to install it. So you can do it through um, ADB sideload uh, as before. So literally you would just download the ROM zip file from the website and place it into platform tools. And then basically boot your phone into recovery, connect it, Check it by typing in the command ADB devices. Make sure your device is registered and shown. And if you see that, then you can uh, go to ADB sideload and then whatever you name the, the ROM zip file or if you keep the stock name, up to you. I'd say change the name to something simpler so that way it's easier and faster to type it. But that's one way. And the way that I normally do it is I do it through ADB sideload. Uh, but today I wanted to try it differently. So as you guys see on the screen, um, I went ahead through the OTA process. And it's fairly similar. It's exactly like stock Android. You just go into the settings app, scroll down to system update, or actually scroll down to system, choose that option, and then choose system update, and you should see it there ready and available to download. And it does take a little bit of time, um, probably about the same as it would for stock Android, but it is a larger file, though. So don't be alarmed when you see it, and it's like 2.5 gigs. That was the file size for the Pixel 8a. And then for the Pixel 4, it was 2.6 gigs. or No, 2.3 gigs. A little bit smaller, but it was for the Pixel 4. And I went ahead and did OTA updates on both of them rather than using ADB side load. So um, just kind of wanted to give you guys a heads up on that. And currently right now, both of them are up and running, functional. RCS messaging is working on it. Uh, I was able to message with my wife, and we use RCS message because she has a Pixel 7a. And, you know, Wi-Fi is working. Bluetooth is working. Um, I'm still playing around with the Pixel 4 and getting um, more insight on it to give feedback on it. So I'll have separate individual videos for the 9.4 update on Evolution X on both these devices. And later I'll be installing it on the Pixel 6a and then giving people feedback as to um, what, if there's anything broken or if, you know, things have been fixed. Uh, so far, I can say this, that for some reason, um, you know, the, the Pixel 8a didn't have where you can customize the boot animation. And in 9.4, that is available in the Evolver settings. However, when I chose a custom boot image for when you first power on the phone, uh, it did not work. So I'm going to wait and test it again later and see. And I'll probably upload a YouTube short showing if it does work and then showing you guys what it looks like. Um, but uh, just a little bit, you know, tweaks here and there with the customizations. Uh, looks like that they fixed the RCS thing. And... Um, Later on, I'm going to check the play integrity, so I'll have an update as to what's exactly new in Evo X 9.4, so be on the lookout for that video. But that's it for right now, guys. Thanks for checking out this video. If you guys enjoyed it, smash the like button. Uh, link in the description if you guys want to try out Helium for a month free. Uh, my promo code is in the description. Just you know, go through the sign-up process with Helium, and when you get to the checkout page, there's a section that says Apply Promo. Put my promo code there. You'll get your first month for free. Uh, but that's it for right now, guys. Thanks for checking out this video, and I'll talk to you on the next one. Peace.